MustangMedic.com. The 1966 Mustang Coupe Restoration Project. All right, so we've got we've uh, we power washed twice on the '66. Uh, we're going to um, purple power it again, let it soak in for a couple hours, and hit it again. It's going to take three or four times. There's a lot of crud on this car, and we're going to probably cut about 20 pounds of uh, junk off the bottom of it when we're finally done. Thank you, Carlos. Good man. All right, so we're going to go over to Carl Dianca's. Uh, we're going to try out. We're going to try out his sandblaster, and I just figured, you know, Carlos is working his tail off with this wire wheel, and we could do it for three hours and do it. But we decided what we're going to do is we're going to try out the sandblaster. We're going to get a little video of it. You guys can see it. It's about 200 bucks. It's a Harbor Fate product, and uh, if we like it, we're going to get it because we're doing this an awful lot, if you know what I mean. And I knew a lot of you guys would tell me about getting a sandblaster. So here we go. Road trip to Dianca's, sandblasting the drums on the 66. All right, we're traveling with Rachel. Of course, very good. She's obviously feeling better. Oh, very good. It's the best you've ever done it, Nicholas. We got little Nick, and we got Nick, and we're heading over to Danka's now. Here we go. Hey, it's Nick and I. We're over here at Danka's Auto Collision in Palm Springs. Carl's gonna let us use a sandblaster. We're gonna try it out on the, on the uh, drums for the 66. Because I just saw, you know, Carlos was sitting there. I was like, you know what? I'm going to call Carl. He said I could try out his sandblaster. And if we love it, which I think we're going to, we're going to have to get it. I think it's going to be next on the list now that we got the scanner. All right, so here we go. Sandblasting Zoma's drums. Does that sound bad? No. Okay, good. Here it is, guys. It's about 200 bucks over. It's in a full standing cart. You need some serious CFMs with your air compressor. I'm not sure if ours can handle all this bad boy. But we're going to put the drums in there. There's a light inside, kind of tough lighting. And we're going to um, blast those drums and see what's going on. And there's Kirk. Someday he'll do the body work on the 71. I've never waited so long <laughs> for somebody to come do work on our car. But it's all right. He's busy. He's really busy. We'll keep waiting. So. And if he doesn't show up, then you guys know that Kirk did not do the job. <laughs> It'll be right there on video. Don't punch me, Kirk. Don't punch me. All right, you guys remember Carl? Here he is. He's, he's injured, though, unfortunately. He had a motorcycle accident last week, and he is nursing a stiff leg. You want to say hi, Carl? Hi, guys. <laughs> but he's kind enough to uh, let, let me borrow his uh, sandblaster to try this thing out, and I think it's going to spoil me on these drums. So we're going to get down through these gloves. And we're going to be inside there spraying when we open this door. So here we go. Carl's cleaning the glass inside because he's glass sandblasting it, left the residue. And we're going to stick the drums into this area right here underneath the light. And then we're going to blast it. So this is pretty neat. Thank you, Carl. It looks like there's spray painting. It looks pretty amazing. That's the brake drum in there behind the glass. It's kind of hard to see, but you can make it out. That highlighted silver you see is actually the metal of the drum. So it's going to be pretty neat seeing this come out. Carl's demonstrating the first one to me, and I'm going to do the other three. So. Here goes the unveiling. Holy crap. Look at that thing. Look at that thing now. Night and day. Before, after. Nice, Carl. There you go. Nice, nice. Night and day, guys. Look at the difference with the sandblasting. It's, I gotta get one of these sandblasters. I just don't know if my compressor can handle it right now. But he's got, Carl's got a big hockey compressor and it makes this job so much easier than wire wheeling. I hope my compressor can handle this thing. I want one. What do you think, Nick? Is this amazing? We love sandblasters. All right, successful mission. We're out of here. Let's roll. MustangMedic.com. Please look for the link in the description below.
for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. <laughs>